Hey everyone, Jason Shaffert here of M0A.com alongside good friend Ariel Tweedo from Flying Wild Alaska. Hi. And Ariel and I, you saw our video maybe six months ago, we did turning stalls. Ariel and I are taking that a little bit further. We're going to take it all the way into a spin. Spin. So that should be exciting stuff that we have for you guys. And I. I make my students do spins, especially where you're at now, working on your instrument rating. It is such a great asset to have. You know, I talk about that we, we practice stalls to practice recoveries. Mm -hmm. We practice spins to practice recoveries as well in yeah. that case. Yeah, I never really knew, like, why, why do I need to learn how to spin? It's not like I'm going to go up there and practice doing spins, but I guess it's important in case you do get into a scary situation. Absolutely. It's all about the recovery. Remember back to your check ride days, your check ride examiner, she just asked you, hey, Ariel, tell me how to recover from a spin. You just went, oh, you power back, yeah. and you, you went through the whole spiel with everything, yeah. right? Yep. It's, another, it's one thing to say it, it's another thing to actually demonstrate it. Cool. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. Let's so go do it. We're going to knock it out, guys. Let's go ahead and see that clip and cut to the cockpit. And Your controls. I have the flight controls. Your controls. Let me lock down everything. Yeah. Make sure everything is secure. So we've done clearing turns, Ariel. We're checking the area. Now it's important too that we're looking around for other traffic. We also have to look as to where we're going, which is down. So looking down Maybe for other traffic or anything like my that. Seat belt. Yes, please tighten that seatbelt. You could fit two aerial tweeters in that seatbelt right now. I just realized I was like, oh, I'm pretty close to the controls. <laughs> Maybe I should. Uh, you, see, if you put your seatbelt on back when the seat's back like that and you scoot okay. forward, it'll get a little bit looser. So okay. my there you go. Good. All good. Clearing turns are all set. Looks good down below us. Everything's set. And our spin recovery is power back. Aileron stay neutral. It's a, it's a natural instinct to want to do something with the controls. Yeah. And then rudder opposite. So we're spinning to the left. We step to the right. And then elevator down, just like recovering from a stall. Okay. I'll show you one. Then I'll let you do one. Okay. okay? So say it one more time. So oh. power comes back. Okay. Aileron stay neutral. Just like this. It's natural to want to like do this. Yeah. But don't. Yeah, tell your brain not to. Rudder opposite. If I'm spinning to the left, I step right. If I'm spinning right, I step left. Okay. On the rudder, and I'll, I'll be here to help you with it. Okay. And oddly enough, elevator needs to go down a little bit to get the airplane flying again. Okay. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, let's do it here. So what I'm going to do is, just like we did in our turning stall video, I'm going to start us with a turning stall. Okay. We're going to go, let's say we go up and to the right here. We go up and to the right. We get slower and slower and slower, and before you know it, <laughs> there she goes. And then neutral, down. That's awesome. And recover. That's awesome. How was that? Uh, great. Oh man, you can feel it in my cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. That's I'll bring so power cool. back in and recover us fully. You have the flight controls. If you'd like okay. to fly us back up now okay. to controls. yep, up to 7,000 feet again, please. Okay. Only lost 500 feet on that. And if you looked okay. at our airspeed, we were falling straight down like that uh -huh. at like 35. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's you know, so fun. Big left turn out here to the okay. south as we're climbing. That we kind of continue to clear Can the area. Can you walk me through what we're doing again? Absolutely. So we're going to bring it up just like we do a stall. I went up and to the right. And I'll help you with that, and I'll talk you through everything. And then from there, we just kind of let it break. We just don't recover from the stall. Just let it go all the way into a stall. And I'll be like, and this is the thing. A 172 is such a stable airplane. It doesn't want to spin. You almost have to purposely put it into a spin to make that happen. Okay. So not really all, all that bad. And you know what? If you just let go of the controls, it wants to recover itself as well. So you ready for it? Yeah. We're back to 7,000 feet. We kind of we cleared the area. Look down your side. Make sure no one's down there. Nope. Looking down my side. No one's down there. Everything looks great. I'm all set. Okay, Ariel, go ahead and just pick that uh -huh. nose up. Maybe a slight turn over here to the right, just a little bit. To the right. That's going to come. And... Wait for it, wait for it, here it comes. There it goes, aileron's neutral. Okay. Power back. There you go, you're good. Oh, good. Bring it right on up. There you go. <laughs> let's do and another we're, one. We're back to flying the airplane again. All right, back up to 7,000 feet. Climb me up, let's do another one. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. <laughs> that's so fun. I'm telling you. Watch out, Sean Tucker, here yeah. I come. <laughs> That's awesome. You got, and you know, a lot of that comes back to, I mean, you have such a knack for flying. Uh, I mean, having grown up in aviation from grandparents being, you know, aviators and everything else and great grandparents that, I mean, aviation is truly in your blood and it, yeah. you know, it shows. I mean, a lot of private pilots, instrument pilots don't get this kind of experience either to do yeah. something like that. No, I'm so lucky. I've been, I've been around airplanes since I was born. My 
My dad has been taking us up all the time. And so yeah. it does feel very natural. And yeah. I love it. But, man, I'm telling you, that radio communication just makes oh, me so it. flustered. I get it. something I'm not used so to. So we can work on. Let's do one together here. You ready? Yeah. You, I'll just follow you on the controls a little bit. I'll help induce it, make it a little bit of a stronger type spin, OK? Yeah. OK, so climbing up. Clear climbing down. Up. Everything looks good. So the whole uh, we're going to go up to the right. Right here is good. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here she goes. Oh. Hold it. Hold it. Neutral. Okay. Right. Right. Woo it. And back. There you go. Woo that was awesome. That, do you feel that right run? We went from left, left, yeah. left to, you know, hard yeah. back to right. That was a good spin. That's yeah, like this, the most fun thing this ever. This airplane is hard to spin. Yeah. That was really, really uh, nice work here. Wait, can we do one more? Last you want to do one more? Climb it back up to 7,000 feet. One more. One more I'll let you do. Thank you who is ever sponsoring our gas right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best feeling ever. It's so crazy because you feel like you would panic, but then looking down, you're like, yeah. whoa. You're like, I'm staring straight, straight down, at the, down ground. the ground. I'm spiraling towards the ground. Yeah. All right, almost back up to 7,000 feet. That's the thing, we're not losing a lot of altitude. Yeah. We're only falling at 35 knots. You hear the stall warning horn going. Yeah. Just one way to stall more than the other. You just have to remember to not panic. Yeah, and breathe. And breathe. Yeah. Have you been breathing? I've been, I've been breathing. I might be white knuckling a little bit, but then I'm good. You're keeping the ailerons neutral, which is yeah. great. All right, let's lower that nose. Okay. Just give me a little bit of a left turn to the east. Let's just make sure we clear that area. Raj, Raj. Looks good straight down. What a rush. Isn't that awesome? Uh-huh. Looking great. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay. Up and to the right, please. And a little bit to the right. And here it comes. Power's back. Yep. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Opposite rudder. rudder. Good job. Got you caught it. that rudder early. Okay. Darn. Is that why we didn't spin as much? Yeah. No, we didn't spin as much. You, but it, it, what's so interesting is, and we'll just kind of glide on down here. Okay. You caught that. Just watch that clouds go a little yep. more to the right. Um, you caught it so early. Like, I, I'm just following you on the controls. Your natural instinct was, I'm diving left. Your foot was, whether you think about it or not, you were stepping right. Yes. I mean, you were recovering just instinctively now. Uh, I mean, I, but in your mind, you're like, I want to spin like 10 times. But your pilot skills are saying, no, we need to recover from this. So it's, it's fascinating. Again, you're a, you're, a, you're a pretty darn good pilot. It's awesome Thank stuff. You. Thank you so much. And it's like partially because of you. Like you make me so, feel so comfortable in a plane. I, w I can't wait to do my instrument with Yeah, it's going to be exciting. I'm pumped about it. Well, cool. Well, let's uh, let's head back to the uh, airport. And why don't we to say bye to zone. everyone on Facebook and YouTube. Bye. Say bye to those guys. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you. And most importantly, remember, which they always remember. A good pilot is always learning. <laughs> See you, guys. <laughs> So Ariel, you are like a spin champion now. I'm amazing. <laughs> no, that was seriously, i not even kidding you, sorry dad, but the best flight I think I've ever had in my life. That's it was awesome. so fun. What a rush and sort of scary in the beginning, but by the end you're just like, woo! Yeah, yeah it was so fun. It was, so in my mind, I had the intention, like, we'll go up, I'll do a spin, she'll do a spin, we'll say bye to the camera and be done with it and go debrief. Yeah. And you're just like, can we do one more? Can we do? You're like a little kid. Yeah, what do we do, four or five I think spins? I four or five, yeah. Sorry to whoever lends you gas, yeah. because I think I used it all up. But yeah. No, I loved it though. I think I have a new calling to be an aerobatics pilot. That's awesome. And that was fun. Listen, I mean, that, that's a great avenue to take into, if it, we need more female aerobatic performers too anyways. Yeah, I know. They, there's ju I just know a couple named ones, but yeah. then, no, there's, it's so fun. It's just, it may, and it also makes you so much more confident as a, just a mm -hmm. normal pilot because mm -hmm. it was hard to make the plane spin. Absolutely. Well, and it shows you what a stable airplane is like. We had to, you notice some spins were better than others. Yeah. And the ones that were better than others, the ones we really almost had to do everything incorrect yeah. and then save it. Yeah, no. It was, Unless we put in something wrong, I mean, it just kind of dove and it, it Yeah, I was like, kept keep flying. going, keep going. And you're <laughs> yeah. like, no, I don't want to be normal again. <laughs> well, you know, that was what was so interesting on your last one. We said one more time. So we went up, we kind of only did a half a spin. Like maybe it was a one full rotation. Yeah. You're like, why didn't we keep going? But I was just following you on the pedals. You stepped, you, you recovered your, your brain and your muscle memory did everything. Even though your brain said, I want to keep the spinning around, yeah. muscle memory, just those good pilot instincts kicked in and you just recovered on your own without even thinking about it. But seeing that now and seeing the ingredients of a spin as we lead up to it is so crucial. Yeah, it is. 
Yeah. I, I loved it, and what a good learning experience. Absolutely. Can, Absolutely. I go, I want, can we go again? <laughs> Absolutely, we can go again. Let's let's get you in, like, flying with Sean Tucker and his plane yes. or something like that and do Great some serious. Great idea. Absolutely. I like where your head's at. Yeah, see, now we're, now we're thinking. So what would be the next step to be an aerobatic pilot? I mean, most aerobatic planes are going to be tailwheel airplanes, so you're going to need to start looking into some tailwheel type training. They're going to start you out in something very basic, like a Cetabria, Decathlon, um, something along those lines uh, to do, and you're going to just do the basics. You're going to start with the aileron roll. You're going to start with all the basic maneuvers. They're going to take you through spins and those sort of things before you get into it. There's a lot of safety stuff, too. When you actually perform aerobatic maneuvers, you have to wear a parachute. So there's oh, wow. parachute training and everything else that goes into that. Whoa. So there's a lot of fun stuff, but it starts with being a great tailwheel pilot okay. and learning to fly and master that airplane first. So maybe that's something you add to the bucket list. Hey, I want to get my tailwheel endorsement. Okay. Is it? I don't know if it's a bad question. Or, no, there's no bad questions. Can as a private pilot, can we? Can you do spins and stuff legally just for fun and going up and? You just... you well, it, it's a difference of what's legal and what's smart to do. So okay. as a private pilot, could you aerial tweet or go have done spins on your own? Yes, you could. Would that have been the smart thing to do for someone who's never done a spin before in her life? You know, wouldn't have been the not. smartest thing. And that's what. Ki kills me too with these flight instructors. The only time you're legally required to demonstrate spins to get a spin endorsement. Speaking of that, I can give you your spin endorsement for what we did today. That'll be cool, right? Yes. What to get day that, is it today? To get that, that spin, it's the fifth. To yes. get that spin endorsement, um, a CFI goes up with a CFI who the last time they did spins was probably to get their spin endorsement. You've got two rusty pilots, not rusty in the spin department, who are teaching each other to spin, which is kind of scary. Yeah. So when you do have that opportunity to go into the aerobatic arena, whatever it may be, you want to work with someone who's very proficient in that. And okay. consider we just did a spin video, not but a couple months ago and everything. We do a lot of spins. I make my private, my instrument pilots demonstrate spins, turning stalls, all that stuff, because it's so important. Okay. Next time we do one of these, remind me to bring a notebook. Yes. <laughs> I'm just like, yes. How, it's like me on the radio. I'm like, how yeah. How, 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 how do I remember all the stuff? Yes. No, I yeah. get it. I get it. You're a fountain of knowledge. Well, <laughs> well, thank you so much. And I'm a sponge. Yes. So get it all in. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. <laughs> Great analogy. Great Thanks. analogy. Cool. So, well, Yay. Well, that was so fun. Thank you for teaching me how to spin. I'm most hooked. definitely. Most definitely. That's Yay. cool. And we made a future aerobatic champion. She's in the market for sponsors. Yes. Uh, yes. We have any sponsors out there? Set her up. Sean Tucker, if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> Have a great day, guys, and most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. See you guys. Pass your check ride, or I'll pay for it. Join our number one rated online ground school and participate in live mock check rides and interactive written test prep. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more.